Hello and welcome to this tool tutorial. The tool tutorials are a new series of tutorials here specifically aiming at single tools and explaining how they work in depth. In this case we're going to start with the text plus. The text plus tool is an immensely versatile tool and it can be used from the simple task like adding a title or adding a lower third over to advanced motion graphics, automatically creating slates, etc. etc. As you can see from all these tabs here, the text tool offers a plethora of options. So for this first tutorial, just let us concentrate on the text tab. So obviously this is the first tab you see when you bring up the text tool and it allows you to enter some text, like in this case Fusion Rocks. Let me scale this up a little bit. You can set the text size you can set the font choosing from whatever font is installed on your system tap through it to get a preview you can choose the font style so in this case let's go for regular and uh, Kandera. The first thing you might see is when you zoom in that the text looks a bit jacked to get around that just enable your high Q high quality button down here and there you go with the anti-aliasing you're looking for. You can also set text attributes like underline or strike out and under the text field you've got the write on write off slider. So obviously this can not only be moved but as any other control in Fusion can also be animated. Just right click say animate and say for 80 frames or something like that. We want to have an animated right on. So you've got something like that. Well the same obviously counts for the right off for another 80 frames. I want to animate this and then write my text off. So if you want to do something like a simple right on right off animation that is the slider you're looking for. Let's just remove the animation here and put it back on. The next reveal is the international font controls, where you can actually choose a subset of the font you want to use. Also, you can influence the direction, so if you want to have it left to right, which is standard for the Western Hemisphere, or right to left, top down, or bottom up. Also, the line direction can be changed from top down to down up or left right to right left. The next reveal is for the advanced font controls. For example you can force the font to be monospaced. Well this looks funny at the first glance but the text tool also allows you to do your manual kerning directly on screen. So if you activate the allow manual kerning button here you can actually go here and for example, use your arrow keys to move the individual letters around like so. If you're not satisfied with your work, rather than going into the individual letters and correcting them again, just click on clear manual kerning or placement and let's bring this back to the original spacing. You can also switch on and off the use font defined kerning and use font-defined glyphs, reordering and legation if your currently selected font supports those options. Right, let's talk about the options you have in the styled text field here. So as we said before, you can animate the start and end sliders. You can also animate the text itself just by right-clicking in the style text field and choosing animate. That allows you to, for example, say after 10 frames change the text animating that so that you can have different texts in there. Right click remove animation. The next option is character level styling. Character level styling is a modifier so it shows up in the modifiers tab and this again allows you to not only animate your kerning for example but to really go into individual characters and for example, you know, do font effects like that. You know, 
something like this then move your other stars around here well you got the point all those creative font work could be done using character level styling it could also be animated stuff like alignment transform shading all done on individual characters again I want to clear everything I've done so far and remove it the next option in the list is the comp name so this is quite interesting if you do automated slates so you see my comps name is text demo 01 and that is exactly what my text tool now gives me it's text demo 01 so if I build automated slates that is a nice option as well the next option in the list is the follower this has been covered in a uh, different tutorial so if you look it up here on YouTube there's the text plus and the follower then we've got publish which is well a simple publish as in other published controls in Fusion allows you to expose the value of the text to other controls if you work with expressions or such and then we come to the text scramble well the text scramble is also a nice modifier which is quite versatile for motion graphics for example the randomness gives you the option to scramble all your letters here based on the substitute characters so for example if you only want to have uppercase letters and lowercase letters but no numbers just go to this and animate on time means that while you step through time your text scrambling actually animates you can also animate the actual randomness slider so for example go from the randomness value of 1 down to a randomness value of 0 and thus having an effect similar to those old airport boards where the flights are announced so that's a very simple animation you have now for your airport boards the next modifier on the list is quite funny actually it's called text timer and it's been built many years ago for trade shows actually to have some sort of a countdown like the next demo starts in one minute just hit start and you got a countdown you can also set it to a timer so that you actually know when your coffee break is over or you can set it to system clock just in case that little clock that's provided by Windows is too small for you the next modifier is the time code modifier and this is very very versatile so this actually allows you to automatically burn in time code into your slates for example or into your dailies you have the option to choose the frames per second rate like in this case 25 frames per second if you hit play you actually see your time code being updated here you can choose not to display the hours or minutes so it's only seconds or frames or maybe you only want to have a simple frame counter hit play there you go with the frame counter of course you can also type in a start offset for your time code to match your original time code or to match your footage time code and then the last option is probably one of the most versatile options and that's expression so expression allows you to connect your styled text value to basically every control in fusion so what does that mean well let's have a look at our footage here which is some red footage and say in my sub view I want to see the metadata and this is the metadata embedded in my red file so now I want to create my dailies and I want to have the original files timecode on top of that so I take my text tool merge it on top of my file and then in the expression I want to have the timecode of my original red file so I type text loader1 which is the name of my loader tool here dot output dot metadata dot time code and there you go with the actual time code of the red file which of course updates on every frame so this again is an excellent example of how to create your automated slates your automated dailies burn your time code etc etc that was it for the text tab of the text tool and there's more to come on the upcoming tutorials here so stay tuned for that thanks for your time have a great day